Throughout this pandemic, Dennis Prager, the dean of my alma mater, Prager you go devils, has said some really crazy shit. Like complaining that waiters rush over to give him a new fork when he drops his at a restaurant. If I am at a restaurant and my, my fork or knife falls, I pick it up and use it. They rush over to give me a new one like I am flirting with death. Let me tell you something, Dennis. This is gonna sound harsh, so I apologize right up front. No waiter, waitress, or restaurant owner cares if you die, whether it's from eating off a dropped fork or natural causes. You're really nowhere near as important or loved as you think you are. None of us are. The simple fact is that unlike you, Dennis, most people have an aversion to eating off the floor. Strange, civilized people who prefer clean utensils. Yes, there are people who will put damned near anything in their mouths, regardless of where it's been. But those people are in the minority. So your waitress is simply extending to you a courtesy most of us would prefer, as we generally try to avoid putting dirt, hair, or that little bit of dog feces you had on your shoe when you entered the restaurant into our mouths. It's not that we think we're going to die. We just worry about conservatives like yourself having enough to eat off the floor. Though clearly that's not a concern in your case. Early on, Prager was one of those who told the vast numbers of people in his audience that the novel coronavirus was no more deadly than the flu. This is deadly stuff. Apparently, Donald Trump didn't give his conservative pundit buddies a heads up. We all know now that Trump knew how deadly the virus was. It's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. So. This is deadly stuff. And not just for older people. Now it's turning out it's not just old people, Bob. Just today and, and yesterday, some startling facts came out. It's not just old, older yeah, exactly. young people to plenty of young people. Prager went on to suggest that COVID-19 is, quote, not a killer. This is deadly stuff. And isn't even as deadly as a snake bite. This is deadly stuff. Which kills seven to 8,000 people annually. Many of those deaths are likely due to insane fundamentalist Christians trying to keep Jesus from looking like a lying sack of shit when he told his followers that venomous snakes and drinking poison wouldn't harm them. You don't need to do that, my Christian friends. Jesus was right. Those things won't harm you. They'll kill you dead, just like coronavirus. By late March, Prager was dumping on the lockdown, suggesting that such a thing would be necessary only if we reached, quote, staggering, end quote, numbers of deaths, quote, perhaps 30,000, end quote. From then on, the numbers just kept going up. Quote, even if it were 50,000, if it were 80,000, 100,000. I mean, obviously, there's a certain point where you have to say the death numbers are so high we have no choice. But those are not the numbers, end quote. Per perhaps 200,000? Just, just throwing that out there. Dennis later suggested that the lockdown was perhaps the greatest mistake in human history, obviously forgetting the final season of Game of Thrones. Prager also heralded a doctor who was promoting hydroxychloroquine and warning people that infertility is caused by demon semen and astral sex with the, with the devil's minions, who I'm told are absolutely amazing in the sack. For some, that might be worth a little infertility. In fact, I, I gotta be honest here, if you can send some of that shit my way, I will be thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Seriously. Please. Now Prager is saying that the lockdown was criminal, although he has yet to call for Trump's impeachment or imprisonment, and that we should have been more like the Swedes who never locked down. Of course, Americans are not like the Swedes, are we? They're responsible and care about others, unlike 42% of the people in this country who think that a stay-at-home order during a global pandemic is a civil rights violation akin to slavery. The Swedes are also bereft of scientific illiterates shooting their ignorant mouths off on the radio, giving people the kind of reckless information I've outlined here. Nor do they have to endure the lying, batshit, crazy nonsense that comes out of our president's vicious little mouth. Bleach anyone? Bleach? Maybe some ultraviolet light inside the body? Even more strange is Prager's choice of Sweden. If Prager wanted us to follow another country's lead, why pick Sweden? Is the only criteria the lockdown? Why doesn't Dennis care most about the number of deaths? Hashtag greedy heartless bastard. Sweden has virtually the same rate of death per 100,000 people as the US. That's not good. 
As of this digital capture, America has over 200,000 deaths. South Korea, on the other hand, another modern industrial economic powerhouse with 51 million people, has 388 deaths. Not per 100,000. That's total, 388. Had America followed South Korea's lead, we would have less than 3,000 total deaths in this country compared to our actual 200,000. And South Korea did this while keeping their economy from significant losses, with their GDP down only 1%. Apparently, you can do that kind of thing when a lying, moronic sack of shit isn't running, I'm sorry, excuse me, ruining your country. Of course, I'm not suggesting that a 1% hit to GDP is worth the lives of 197,000 people. Obviously, that would be crazy. The lives of our mothers, fathers, children, grandparents, other friends and loved ones should never stand in the way of economic activity or growth. This is deadly stuff. I'm simply giving you the facts, as Prager seems entirely incapable of doing so. For Prager FU, I'm me. Thanks for watching.